Attacks the first pitch, hits it a ton. Straight away, center field. Gone! Well, we've been talking about where the pitch should be against this young man and you see the ball down he's got a chance right there center cut right down the middle anything up and higher he's been having a hard time with that one hand coming off the bat well that swing right there he hasn't had many of them maybe in this series that might be the biggest one. Here in the third from Devers. Now it's Verdugo sending one towards the monster. That ball is off the monster. Bogarts races home on an RBI double from Alex Verdugo, bringing Fenway alive, and it's 4 0. Short, quick to the ball, using that wall that a lot of great left handers that have been in this ballpark. This is a confident offensive team. 3 2 to Martinez is hit in the air. Left field towards the wall and another base hit. Banging off the monster. A long single. A five run third for the Red Sox. And it is unraveled on Kevin Cash and the Rays here in the third inning. Two two. Hey, Straight three. High strike zone through two hitters. Yeah, it's hard to defend this call, and I'm a pitcher. I mean, that that is first of all, it's unhittable. Second of all, it's above the zone, and you can see it's at his arms. Another 0-2 pitch. Got him this time with a high heat and a one-two three. His players have emotions. Right, because you've got night to go to bed, and the next day, and you think about what could have been, and just what they did this year with a new cast of players. That is four consecutive strikeouts for Rodriguez. This one on a filthy changeup. 2-0 worked his way back in the count, got to 2-2, and then there's that changeup pitch. Could have been the bat that I was talking about, where the Rays needed something to kind of. Go different, and that would have gotten their bench fired up. Unfortunately, yep. got him swinging. Six strikeout, and two gone in the fourth. Rounds it to first, and that aggressive play by Lupo will get them their first run. It in the air to center field. Hernandez going back on this one. It is gone. Franco and the Rays say no shot from the kid. Have we mentioned that he's pretty good? Oh. Exceeding the hype. In the air to right center towards the gap. That'll split it. Back to back extra base hits to open the eighth. It's a one run game as Kiermeyer drives in Zanino. Now that's how you get it done. That pitch and that approach was much better than the pitch before that he should have just spit on. And oh boy, oh boy, we got a nail biter. He tried to go back outside. But see how it catches more of the plate, and then that allows him to be able to turn and burn. Another fastball is punched through the right side, base hit. Kiermaier hits third and heads home. He's got a cannon, but the throw's up the line. The Rays have come all the way back, and we're tied at five in the eighth. An opposite field base hit. Three in a row for Tampa Bay to greet Brazier. One of the few bad decisions for Renfro. Awesome hitting ball up. He goes the other way. Renfro has no chance, even with his great arm. But when he makes that play right there and throws it up, 
That allowed a Rosarena to go to second. That is not the play you wanted. You you give up the tying run, but you keep the double play in order, and they didn't do that. One of the first mistakes the Red Sox have made defensively. On an 0-1 pitch, Hernandez lifts one to left center field. It is pulled in by Meadows. Here comes Santana. The Red Sox back to the championship series. October. Nine hits and the sacrifice fly that sends the Boston Red Sox to the American League Championship Series. Well, they decided to pitch to the hottest hitter instead of loading up the bases and potentially look at a double play or a little more strategy, and they attacked Kike Hernandez, and he did what he's done all series.